Chris MD is at it again. This Tory elf will not give it a rest. And let me see what he's done now. He said he'd sell Mainu, which is absolutely, first of all, totally, totally inappropriate. Right, let's clear that up very quickly. Then, here we go. Let's have a look at what Chris MD is doing recently. Actually, I will give Chris a little bit of um, leeway here because he was blind ranking. Our last contender in the list. Angry Ginge. Now, I've never been on a football pitch with Andrew Ginge, so can you give us a bit of insight? He looks like he's no nonsense. Yeah, I think that's that's the way I'd describe him. Um, <laughs> Look at this, have it? Yeah, <laughs> bit of a Brexit centre-back, I'd say. Um, he, he's good. He, he is a there good centre-back, but... See, it's that bit there for me. It's that bit there for me. He is a good centre-back. He is good. That I don't like that, but it's, it's that three-letter word that comes after it. That bit. He goes, but... But, but what, Chris? But what, Chris? Because we went into a 50-50 at the Sidemen charity match and there was only one winner there, weren't there? There was only one winner. And your little video where it was every time you score, we upgrade the defender. Four hours he was trying to score past me, chat. Four hours. Didn't want me to leak that, did he? But I have done. Four hours him and Danny couldn't score past me. And he wants to come on here and give it the big in. Let's see what he says after the butt, shall we? I think against anyone with pace, he'd get exposed. Um, I... Anybody with pace, I'd get exposed. First of all, I'd never expose myself. And the fact he's trying to put that on my name, I think is utterly disgusting. Never, ever would I ever expose myself, right? And let me tell you, and let me show you what happens when I come against somebody who's got a bit of, bit of pace. What is that? Waffle. Let me show you. Let's have a look at what I do. Pulse, if you don't know, you do now. Where is it? Is it not in here. Literally isn't in here. It's a successful dribble. Though. Okay, that's not what I'm looking at. I can't find it. I can't find it. It doesn't matter. Anyway, I get my body in front of them. I get the I get my body in front of them and I draw the foul. You're the slowest person I've ever seen. Okay. Bite my tongue on that one. I bite my tongue on that one because your mum was about to get ruined. Ruined. I gained speed, exactly. Speed is, you know, it's in his name, chat. It's in his name. He is quick. He is rapid. Speed is a very fast human being. And he's tried to knock the ball past me and go around me. And he hasn't. And I've got my body in the way. So let's well, clear that so up. That I think number six is probably about right for Angry Ginge. So number six is about right. So he's saying, apparently... Apparently, he's saying Toby's better than me. <laughs> oh, you can't see. Toby is better than me. Chris himself is apparently better than me. <laughs> Crazy. Billy Wingrove is better than me. And that is probably the only one where I'll go, actually, do you know what? Maybe he just edges it. Maybe Billy Wingrove just edges it. Do you know what I mean? Theo Baker, I've not seen a video in the past four years where he's not mentioned he's been injured. And I actually witnessed him get injured at the match. And I'll be honest, bit of an overreaction. So, no chance. He's not physically as fit as me, can't be better than me, right? Simon, me best mate, Mini Minter. Yo, questions will be asked here, is he better than me? And I think it comes down to, at the end of the day, one of us has got a football net in his back garden. I don't think it's me. So if he wasn't better than me, I'd be a bit worried. Do you know what I mean? Simon is definitely better than you, is he? No worries. Banned. See you later. Uh, Leah, why have you put a snail in? What, what does he finish off yeah, saying? Um, that's, that's too... And of course, there's a duo that didn't make... We didn't want to put ourselves in it, but... By the way, the fact I've made this list, I'm buzzing. I'm not even... A, well, I am a YouTuber. <laughs> YouTube duo. Of course you found a way to this. <laughs> uh, it just says Joe and Smithy. So we didn't want to put ourselves in. No, it's... That is outrageous. Someone section. The, these two goals were back-to-back. -back. Oh, man. insane. I felt like I was watching a, a, a simulation in person. Here we are. Look. They are unreal, uh, to be there. fair. <laughs> They are, right? You have a massive ego. Well, I've always spoken about my football ability, though, mate. So what about me there saying about my football ability shows I've got an ego? 
What? Because I don't think I'm sh Pardon me for having a bit of faith for myself. How dare I? How dare I? Maybe if your mum had a bit of faith in herself, she wouldn't have raised such a like you, mate. Now you can f*** off. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah. A bus lane fine. £90. £90 for a bus lane fine. What the f***? £90. That's like two weeks worth of shopping. It's outrageous how they get away with this. And I'll call them out. Salford City Council, you are f***ing scum of the earth. £90 for a bus fine. It's cheaper to buy a bus and go in the lane. F***ing robbing bastards. Robbing f You like the FA? As soon as a 14-year-old gets a yellow card, give me the money. Give me the f***ing money. Dirty, hanging, scamming bastards. That's what you are. £90, could I accidentally? I, I didn't purposely do this, by the way. The lines on the road weren't good enough, and I've accidentally gone in a bus lane. Pardon me for making a mistake. Oh, Zaki didn't get into the second half, did he? Not interested anymore. Take your aid and f off. Right, as blatant as you can see, he hasn't gone in at 7 o'clock. Anyway, I've accidentally gone in a bus lane, and I've been found £90 because of it. It's crazy, isn't it? It's crazy. It's ridiculous is what it is. It's absolutely ridiculous. I know what you're thinking. Well, it would have only been 60 if you'd have paid it sooner. Well, guess what? I lost a letter. I lost a letter and I didn't know what to do. And I got sent this one today. Where is it? Anyway, apparently if I didn't pay it today, it'd have been sent to court. <laughs> Can you imagine that? All over the news, obviously, because it obviously would be well documented. Angry Ginge in court over bus lane. Imagine that. Imagine that. And yeah, like, yeah, I have actually lost a letter, ironically, again. Like it f***ing should be. Scrunched up in a f***ing ball. Warning. Your case is to be registered as a debt at the county court. Taking me to court over a bus lane. Seriously. That's what they were going to do. They were going to take me to court. Over a bus lane. To prevent further action, you have seven days from the date of this notice to pay the remaining charge. Don't have a lighter. I'll just do what I do with my bus tickets then. I'll just eat it. Just eat it. That'll show them. Ugh. Never mind. Don't do that. Don't do that. So anyway, money to sort that out. Bus fine done. <coughs> Bank done. House, solicitors, nearly done. Uh, what else have I nearly got? Or oh, what else have I done today? Went to the gym before chat. No, I've not got a six pack yet. And it will take a bit more than three months, to be honest, but we'll get there. I went to Asda. I bought steak, broccoli, uh, carrots, um, asparagus, right? I bought all this thinking, yeah, I'm gonna have a nice, healthy dinner, right? There was no carbs there, right? So, I also had these nice mushrooms with, like, cheese in. Really, look really nice, garlic mushrooms, and yeah, really would have been really nice. So, anyway, as you do, chat, plug my electric hob in, because I can't have a cooker, because it's broke. Uh, who'd have thought it? Plug my air fryer in. Plug my kettle in, right? Boom, mushrooms in the air fryer, steak on the pan, kettle warming up to put my broccoli and carrots in to soften them. Plug socket. That's it. Done. Finito. Didn't want to carry on anymore. Did not want to carry on anymore. Plug socket blown. Everything went off. So, not had anything to eat, did I? However, luckily, Uber Eats is a thing. So, you know, I ordered a five, guys. So I just ordered a five, guys. Uh, yep. Yeah. I think that's, yeah, I thought that was, yeah. So I was having a look at something, Chad, so I'll, yeah, so I ordered a, 